At this time, we will call Mr. Kevin Barrett, the principal of the Charlestown Primary School, and he's going to bring to us the school report. I want you to listen attentively as he let us know what took place during the school year. Principals, PTA executives, teachers, students, graduating class of 2010, and all, good afternoon and welcome to the graduating ceremony of the Charleston Primary School class of 2010. I pass the month on to my grateful student, my co-worker for over 15 years, my deputy, and I say, Barrett, take. And so I took the baton in the approved fashion as my coach taught me. As I heard those two clear and confident words, Barrett, take, all I knew I had to do was to put my hand back grab the baton firmly and forge on ahead. All I told myself at that time were, don't drop the baton, pace yourself, and run good. But the first few strides were tough and somewhat uncertain, so I prayed, Lord, help me run this leg well. Then further up the hill, the elderly Miss Bissett, my neighbor, called out to me and said, I hear you rise from a shepherd to a king. God bless you, Bob. I'm too proud of you. So my strides grew stronger and surer. They grew even stronger when another elderly lady, Miss Pren Mrs. Prentice, quoted to me Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's bit of classic literature. The heights great men, at, great men reach and kept were not obtained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night. She too prayed me God's blessings and asked me to keep an eye out for her grandchildren at school. As I lengthened my stride, I could hear the voice of Miss Georgette Williams. Lord Scooby, I'm so proud of you. Do a good job, mind you. Then I reached the school grounds and the cheerleaders came out in full support. Shouting and cheering me on were the, the kindergarten teachers, Mrs. Roper, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Hanley, and Miss Lorella Barry. Use your arms, Barrett! They shouted. That made me feel good, and I indeed did as they said. Further along, the grade one teachers, Mrs. Ward, Miss Springett, Miss Corrine Liburd, they all shouted, Stay focused, we're backing you! <laughs> Miss Petrona Freeman, Mrs. Lakram, Miss Philip, and Ms. O'Loughlin at grade two, along with Ms. Leona Freeman at the Reading Recovery, sang me a nice little chant, run, Barrett, run, run, let me see you run. I looked ahead to see the grade three teachers, Ms. Roberts, Ms. Fobbs, and Ms. Grant, urging me on. As I passed them, Ms. Roberts shouted out, left something, Barrett! <laughs> a chant she usually says to the race car drivers, drivers at the racetrack. At the Great Force Station, Miss Sandra Leibert said, Barrett, me like how you start out, but me sorry, me can't jump up to cheer you on. Me hip hurt me. <laughs> Miss Anthony also at the Great Force Station shouted, Barrett, do what me father Frankie Claxton teach you. Breathe in and out. Keep running. Don't stop. Miss Latoya Bailey reminded me that I taught her to never give up. So that's all she said to me. Don't give up, Barrett. Don't give up. Grade five was just around the corner. Miss Powell and Mr. Spit chanted in unison. Yes, Barrett, keep going. You look good. Mr. Sergeant, in his reassuring and easy style, he said, hold it on the bus. Man, there for you every time. At grade six, I felt really relaxed now. I felt calm and comforted. I was hitting my best stride. I looked ahead to see Mrs. Haynes, Mrs. Robinson, and Mrs. Bartlett on their knees praying for me. Beside them was Mr. Rivers, swinging the incense-thurable boat as the prayers ascended to the heavens. 
I relaxed a bit. Use your strides, use your strides, Coach Watch bellowed out and shot me back to the task at hand. Coach Willett cut in. Dig in, man. Stop liming. Run your race. Run out front. Don't study nobody. Run your race. The attendance officer, Mr. Leibert, shouted, Use some of them energy from all them bread not to feed you with. <laughs> Mrs. Mills at the library ran alongside me and whispered, Keep it up. You look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Mrs. Stanley was right beside Mrs. Mills and backed her up and said, It looks up a true. I thought to myself, With support like that, how could I do anything but run a good race? I knew then all I had to do was to listen to them and work with them. And up till now, they have not discouraged me. So I listened in the first term, and Mrs. Mills said to me, Barrett, I have a wonderful idea for the International School Library Month. This wonderful idea turned out to be a spectacular book banquet. Mrs. Mills and her team of teachers came together and they transformed the school's library into an exquisite fine dining restaurant, serving up a delectable menu of books, food for the soul. One review of the spectacle the spectacle read like this. The International School Library Book Banquet was well planned and executed. The transformation of the school's library to depict a five-star dining room is impressive and breathtaking. Special commendation to Mrs. Thelma Mills, librarian, for her passion and enthusiasm for her job. Avril Elliott, education officer. But we didn't stop there. Another initiative that kick-started the school year was the much-endorsed and exciting father-child social. This is an activity held every last Friday of the month, where fathers bring their children back to school in the evening, from 6 to 8, to enjoy some quality time and socialize with them. I say to the fathers of the children of Charleston Primary School, if you have not experienced this great event, you are missing out. But I'm sure you're not going to miss the next one. It's, it's lots of fun. Just ask Dusty and Dr. Liburd. The First Caribbean International Bank also teamed up with the staff and students of our school to execute, execute sorry, a family week under the Adopt a Cause program. Ms. Karen Jasmine Paris, branch manager of Nevis, spearheaded the activities for the week. The highlight being a contest on Thursday, November 19, 2009, called Family Feud. Several families contested each other in areas of language, general knowledge, and home remedies. This event came off fairly successfully, and Mr. James Green, along with his son Jarrett and his daughter Azilla, came through the winners. Other families that participated in the feud were the Manners family, the Paris family, and the Morton family. The week ended with a family barbecue night at the Ramsbury Plain Field. That event too turned out a large number of families. We had a good week. We say a big thank you to Karen Jasmine Paris and the First Caribbean International Bank for choosing the Charleston Primary School for the Adopter Cause Week of Activities. Later on, we participated in the annual SJCIC quiz. A late search from our representatives, Anika Martin and Ryan Ferguson, propelled us from the back of the pack to a very respectable third. In fact, we were in a tiebreak of a second place. However, we topped off the first term by earning championship honors in the Giant Malt Primary School's football championship. Through the hard work and dedicated, and dedicated work of coaches Willett and Ward, and the continual motivation of our attendance officer, Mr. Liburd, we were awarded two beautiful trophies to add to our already extensive trophy collection. We emerged champions in both A and B divisions of the tournament. Our footballers played exceptional football. Urged on by our greatest fan and supporter, Mr. Mervyn Wilkin, our A and B teams displayed skills that could match anything that Brazil's football team can do. Giovanni Tyson weaved his way through the, defensive, the, the, the defenses of all the other teams to score the most goals for the tournament and earn himself a beautiful trophy. <laughs> DeAndre Newton stopped the advances of the strikers from the other teams to earn the best defender trophy. 
Needless to say, the first term ended quite positively for us. The second term started with us being hopeful in doing an unprecedented feat. But before we embarked on that exploit, the staff banded together with the parents and students to stage two of our highlight events for the term. They being our annual Valentine's Tea Party and our Black History Month concert. The students and parents were the ones who really made these two events huge successes. All we had to do was to accommodate their enthusiasm and their effort. For the Black History Month concert, the parents made sure their children were dressed in authentic African clothing and styles and the children performed exceptionally well. We all had fun, and I'm sure their parents who witnessed the concert were thoroughly pleased with the performances. Meanwhile, contributions towards the Tea Party came in abundance, and we cannot say thank you enough. We appreciate all that you did. Our focus then shifted sharply to our annual sports fest, and the crisp Sports Day events of cross country drew huge support from the parents as well. The infants boys cross country race was won by Datriel Stanley and Curvella Wallace won in the girls category. Giovanni Tyson ran first for the junior boys cross country while Unico Willett ran first for the girls category. A massive crowd came out to witness our sports fest which was held under the patronage of Mr. Theron Maureen and this event took place at the El Comido Willet Park on March 3rd. Red House earned the championship trophy on that day for the first time in many years. <laughs> now to the attempt of the unprecedented feat that we were so hopeful about. The students, the parents, the staff, and the coaches started preparation to earn a sixth straight Golf Insurance Inter-Primary Schools Championship, a feat never yet accomplished by any school. We have done a five-year run twice, but not six years, not just yet. Nonetheless, I am satisfied we put in the necessary work that should have seen us winning the championship for the sixth year. As fate would have it, it was not to be. We placed second. But a huge thank you goes out firstly to our athletes who over the years have run their hearts out to make us proud to wear our orange color. Even when we don't win the first prize. Special mention goes to Carvella Wallace who earned Victrix, Victrix Lodorum and class champion in class five females. Keandre Matthew, who earned class champion in class four females. And special mention has to go out to the ever humble but exceptionally talented Unico Willett, who always gave up our best on the track. I say to all the athletes and students, we appreciate your hard work and your effort whenever you represent Charlestown Primary School. Whether we win or not, you make us proud to wear our orange color. Thank you very much. <laughs> to the parents who get you prepared early in the morning for the training that we had at Grove Park, and for the late afternoons, a simple thank you is not enough. Your unending support is always what takes us over the challenges. And our hardworking teachers, Mr. Willett, our coach, Mrs. Ward, the other coach, your dedication to bringing out the best in the athletes you work with is unquestionable. We have so much to thank you for. And the rest of the staff who sees the necessary preparations behind the scenes is done. My heartfelt appreci appreciation goes out to you. Our second term would not have been the success it was without your overtime work. Now we are here approaching the end of the first year of our journey. It has been a trying one at times, 
but we have had much to shout about and much to be proud of. This term started with a flare. First off, we celebrated our 18th anniversary with the planting of the school's emblem, the palm tree. Teacher Ward had the privilege of planting this tree, a task she gleefully accepted. The Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority, since the onset of the school year, partnered with us in our clean, neat, and tidy campaign. This is an ongoing campaign in which all the classes have to compete in keeping their classrooms and the surroundings clean, neat, and tidy. For their efforts, the cleanest, neatest, and tidiest class for the week is rewarded with a beautiful trophy donated by the Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority. This term, they invited us to participate in the celebration of Earth Day on April 22nd. We accepted the invitation and we asked the students to come to school on that day dressed in the earth colors of green and or brown. Students and staff enjoyed immensely doing our little part for Earth Day this year. The Solid Waste Management Authority also invited the school to take part in an island-wide poetry competition in recognition of Earth Day, and that too the students jumped at. They were so enthusiastic that they overwhelmed me with their poems. I am proud to say that our students won the top three prizes. One year apprentice won third prize, Raheem Perkins won second prize, and Nicole Zakas Barry won first prize. Following that remarkable effort from the students, they continued to make their parents, the staff, and themselves proud. Shortly after our exploits in the Earth Day poetry competition, we participated in the Rotary Club Spelling Bee competition and placed a very respectable second. However, even in second place, we were able to earn the overall best speller with Miss Jarissa Smithen. I say a big thank you to all the teachers who drilled the students every day and the parents who gave much needed support. I dare to say that was our best team effort for the term thus far. A few weeks following, we participated in the Nevis Library Services Family Book Feud, which was held at the occasions on Saturday, June 5th. The Green family, namely James Green and his son Jarrett, proudly and stoutly re represented the school. And again, we are proud to say they did an excellent job. They play second. I want to say thanks to Mr. Green and his family from all of us at the school. Firstly, for saying yes when we asked if you would take up the challenge. Secondly, for doing all the preparations within your family. And lastly, but not least, for doing such a remarkable job. A big thank you is also in order for all who have made any contribution whatsoever to the school, even if it is to applaud our endeavors. However, I must mention contributors like Anderson Atherton, who would often close his business for a day so that he could help us out on the barbecue grill, to John Brush, who only needs a telephone call to say we need his usual help, Four Seasons Nevis, Iris Foundation with Beaumont Corporation, A1 Technology, Ram Supermarket, Mr. and Mrs. Spencer Brand, the TDC Group of Companies, Nevis Multiline Services, SL Hosfords and Company Limited, Nevis Public Works Department, Sean Lewis, Rene and Lane Fawn Crook, Nevis Bakery, Key Bakery, Newman's Bakery, Sherman Maynard, Lyra Richards, the PTA Executive, Kim Lybird, Kamalita Lee, Marva Brandy, and all who would have contributed to today's ceremony. Dale Claxton, Miss Lindis Walters, Miss Marjorie Morton, Mrs. Marjorie Morton, sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Basil Manners, Bargain House, Island Tires, Stuart Williams, Reverend Baptiste, the Honorable Joseph Parry, Premier, the Honorable Roberto Hector, the Honorable Vance Amory, the Education Department, Gay Hanley, Jean Keynes, Sylvester Gager, 
Ambrosine Lake, Claxton Shipping and Travel Services, Carl Claxton, Mr. and Mrs. Llewellyn Paris, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Perkins, Hope, Foreign Lawrence, Swanee's Bargain Center, the Daniel Foundation, the Charleston Methodist Church, Alberta Otterton, the Sutton Brothers, Ronald Powell, Mrs. Hylita Liburd, Chris Liburd, Mrs. Camelita Merchant, Camilla Swanston, Mrs. Laverne Barrett, Von Radio, Choice Radio, and to all the parents for everything you have sacrificed so far for your children and for the Charleston Primary School. I humbly say thank you. <laughs> to the graduating students, I know I have spoken to you already, but I'll just say to you, thanks for helping me in my freshman, freshman year as principal. I learned a lot from you. I am, however, encouraging you to continue to work hard in high school. The power lies in you. However, I cannot end here unless I say thank you to someone who has been there for the school every step of the way. Someone who has volunteered help wherever and whenever she can. To my teacher, my advisor, motivator, supporter, the ever-present, the energizer bunny, Mrs. Alice Swanston. May God bless you, and may he indeed bless us all. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Byard. And I believe that school report is of such that I believe that you can give a bigger round of applause to it. <laughs>